This is the mayor's report for the city of Battle Creek, Michigan. This is the mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Good morning, Battle Creek. I would like to start off first by reading a very special Battle Creek's Finest Award Certificate of Recognition that will be presented this morning at a mass um, for the funeral of Raymond J. Pontoni. The city commission of the city of Battle Creek recognizes Raymond J. Pontoni for a lifetime of achievement. Raymond J. Pontoni passed away on August 6, 2023 at the age of 92. Raymond was first born in Battle Creek in 1931, raised in Athens and was a 1950 graduate of Athens High School. Raymond honorably served his country in the United States Army for three years during the Korean War. Raymond worked most of his life in the family business established by his father in 1929, the Nottawa Gardens Poultry Processing Plant located in Athens. After his father's passing, Raymond became the CEO. Raymond was a lifelong resident of Athens, a leader and a founding member of the local Rotary Club. He received the Paul Harris Fellowship Award for his community dedication. Raymond was a founder and was first president of the Athens Area Historical Society and helped to establish the current, current Historical Society Museum in Athens. He received the Athens Hall of Fame Award in 2013 for many of years of service. Raymond's service to the community was an important part of his life. He donated property for the Athens Youth Ball Field, supplied electrical timing equipment at the Athens High School football field, and established the yearly Dominic and Garcia Pontoni Memorial Scholarships for two graduating seniors. Raymond and his first wife, Peggy, donated a portion of the Woodland Park, a nature preserve and property in Battle Creek to provide a place for families to hike and learn more about nature, which is widely used today. Music was also played a very large role in Raymond's life. He was a tenor, but his real passion was barbershop singing. He was a member of the Village Ramblers out of the Battle Creek Serial City Barbershop course. He recently received his 50 year membership pin from the Barbershop Harmony Society International. As a father, grandfather and great grandfather, Raymond was a dedicated family man and his family brought him much joy and happiness. He retired to Florida where he enjoyed golfing, traveling, deep sea diving, crab trapping and sailing. Upon retirement, he moved his Rotary membership to Florida and was a continuous Rotary member for over 64 years. Their certificate is presented on behalf of the city of Battle Creek and the people of the city of Battle Creek to the family of Raymond J. Pontoni in honor of a lifetime of achievement. Also would like to read a couple proclamations. Um, the first one is very important. Breast Cancer Awareness Month 2023, whereas breast cancer is the most common type of cancer among women in the world and the second leading cause of cancer death among women in the United States. And whereas more than one in eight women and one in 833 men in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. And whereas National Breast Cancer Awareness Month is dedicated to increasing public knowledge about the importance of early detection of breast cancer and prompt treatment. And whereas, according to the American Cancer Society, when breast cancer is detected early and it is a localized stage, the five-year relative survival rate is 91%. And whereas key messages for early detention, detection include performing monthly breast self-examinations and scheduling regular clinical breast exams and manograms, with the American, Society, American Cancer Society recommending an annual manogram for women once they reach age 40. Now, therefore, on behalf of the citizens of the city of Battle Creek, we do hereby proclaim the month of October 2023 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the greater Battle Creek area. And we encourage all neighbors to do their conscious effort about the benefits of early detection, diagnosis, and treatment of breast cancer and steadfast in supporting the fight to find a cure to end this disease. I'd also like to talk a little bit about the crazy for the kazoo Whereas the city of Battle Creek in the year 2000 established a goal of conducting an environmental beautification project in the city in October. And whereas the city of Battle Creek has worked with the Calhoun County Road Department, the city of Springfield, the Calhoun County Water Resource Commissioner, 
the surrounding townships of Bedford, Leroy, Newton, Penfield, and the Hart Dole in a way Federal Center, Kellogg Community College, and the Battle Creek and Lakeview Public Schools to form the Battle Creek Clean Water Partnership to develop a watershed management plan for a portion of the Kalamazoo River watershed. And whereas the Battle Creek Area Clean Water Partnership has the goal of helping to protect and restore our rivers and lakes to provide the recreational uses and wildlife habitats once common to the area and to protect the drinking water sources of the area through public education. And whereas the Battle Creek Area Clean Water Partnership will conduct a cleanup of the portion of the Kalamazoo watershed beginning at nine o'clock today at the Department of Public Works on October 7th, 2023. Therefore, I do by hereby proclaim that Saturday, October 7th today, as Crazy for the Kazoo, a watershed-wide river cleanup and conservation day event in the greater Battle Creek area, and I encourage all neighbors to participate in this worthwhile project to help restore this wonderful natural resource to its full book of beauty and potential. And if I remember correctly, they are handing out t-shirts to those people that show up. I believe it starts at nine o'clock this morning um, and you'll get a nice t-shirt uh, for the first, I believe it's 200 um, volunteers. Finally, um, I would like to talk a little bit about Fire Prevention Week 2023, whereas the city of Battle Creek is committed to ensuring the safety and security of all those living in and visiting our city, and whereas fire is a serious public safety concern both locally and nationally, and homes are the locations where people are at greatest risk from fire, and whereas cooking is the leading cause of home fires in the United States and fire departments responded to more than 166,400 annually between 2016 and 2020, with every two of every five home fires starting in the kitchen, 31% of these fires resulting from unattended cooking. And whereas the city of Battle Creek neighbors should take pot handles towards the back of the stove, always keep a lid nearby when cooking, keep a three foot kid free zone around the stove, oven and other things that could get hot, watch what they heat and set a timer to remind them they are cooking. And whereas working smoke alarms cut the risk of dying and reported home fires almost by 50%. And whereas individuals who have planned and practiced a home fire escape plan are more prepared and will therefore be more likely to survive a fire. And whereas first responders are de dedicated to reducing the occurrence of home fires and home fire injuries through the prevention and protection education. And whereas 2023 Fire Prevention Week theme Cooking safety starts with you. Pay attention to fire prevention. Effectively serves to remind us that to stay alert and use caution when cooking to reduce the risk of kitchen fires. Now, therefore, on behalf of the citizens of the city of Battle Creek, we do hereby proclaim October 8th through 14th, 2023 is Fire Prevention Week in the greater Battle Creek area. And I urge all neighbors to check their kitchens for fire hazards and use safe cooking practices during Fire Prevention Week 2023, and to support the many public safety activities and efforts of the Battle Creek Fire Department and emergency services. Speaking of Fire Prevention Week, the Battle Creek Fire Department invites you, our community, to its eighth Fire Prevention Week open house set for 2 to 4 p.m. Saturday, October 14th. Fire staff invite everyone this year to Fire Station 2 at 145 North Washington Avenue. Enjoy hot dogs, games, tours of the historic fire station, checking out the city's fire equipment, and prize drawings. City neighbors are also invited to a countywide Fire Prevention Week open house event that includes Battle Creek and other fire agencies. This event is Wednesday, October 11th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Penfield Family Fair Store, 1603 Capitol Avenue Northeast. As always, city fire crews will visit Battle Creek Lakeview and other kindergarten classes throughout the week to educate students about this year's theme, the importance of smoke alarms, and help them feel comfortable with firefighters, especially when they are in full gear. I hope you will attend the great fire education events on Wednesday and Saturday to learn more and meet lo more local fire staff. Battle Creek Police to join annual Faith and Blue event. The Battle Creek Police Department will join the third annual Community Faith and Blue events on October 7th and October 12th. 
The local events, which will also include the Cowan County Sheriff's Office, are part of the National Faith and Blue Weekend, built on the idea that mutual respect and understanding build strong communities. Participants believe that when law enforcement and faith-based organizations work together, their community's neighbors thrive. Join Battle Creek Police for Coffee with a Cop today, Saturday, October 7th, from 9.30 to 11.30. You can drop in for a free cup of coffee, cider, or donuts at the Salvation Army, 400 Capitol Avenue Northeast. This event is open to everyone in the community and provides a chance for neighbors to interact with police in an informal way and enjoy casual concert, conservation and to get to know each other. In addition, Battle Creek Police will participate in a Faith and Blue Affirmation next Thursday, October 12th from 12 noon to 1.30 at 2nd Missionary Baptist Church, 485 North Washington Avenue. The affirmation event will include prayers offered by the Battle Creek community, local law enforcement staff, and their families. There will be a brief statement of purpose and suggested conversations. And then attendees will join breakout sections for law enforcement, clergy, and the community enjoying to engage in conversations. Faith Blue was established in 2020 by Movement Forward Incorporated, working with the Office of Community Oriented Policing Services, COPS, and in the U.S. Department of Justice. For more information about Faith and Blue Weekend, please visit faithandblue.org. Finally, our next city commission meeting will be Tuesday, October 17th. The regular meeting starts at 7 p.m. You can join us for these meetings in person at City Hall, 10 North Division Street, in the Commission Chambers on the third floor. There's also two opportunities to get public comment during the regular meeting about the items on our agenda and any general comments you may have about city business. If you can't come to the meeting in person but want to watch it, Access Vision broadcasts our regular meetings live on Channel 17 and 917 on Comcast and on Channel 100 on AT&T. They also stream to the Live 17 tab of their website, accessvision.tv. You can also watch the live stream of our workshops and regular meetings on the City of Battle Creek, Michigan YouTube channel. You can watch previous live streams of meetings there too. Our agendas are usually posted the Thursday before each workshop or meeting on the city's website. Once on battlecreekmi.gov, go to your government tab, then Mayor and Commission, if you'd like to get a paper copy of the agenda, you can visit the city clerk's office at City Hall from 8 to 5 any day of the week. This is the Mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Thank you very much for listening, and please have a great weekend.